Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jeremy from Well Tech Designs and today we are driving this 2010 Ford E350. We are going to lift this van. We're going to put our Baja Grocery Gator kit on the front along with our custom springs in the back equals our complete performance package. We're going to also add a steering stabilizer to it. Uh, but first we wanted to take it out for a test drive and kind of see how the van is driving stock. If there's any big things that um, we might want to look into when we go ahead and pull it apart. And uh, we're going to go pull into the shop and get crazy. Hey guys, here we are at Well Tech Designs. This is where it all happens. This is where it goes down. Let's move inside and we'll show you all the cool stuff we're building right now. Hey, some of the equipment that we have here, you know, bending up cages, radius arms, a lot of stuff that we do. We have our JMR tubing bender. Here, we have our Midler Brothers tubing notcher. This thing is amazing. We have a 60 ton iron worker. We're able to cut, shear, punch, you know, all of our holes, our brackets, our radius arms, um, anything like that. That's what it gets made on is this machine right here. But this is where, when we're doing just custom builds and we need just one-off parts, this is what will make all of that type of stuff. And saw, nothing crazy, but great for making small tabs, skid plates, anything that, you know, tight little radius getting in there. So the parts that we machine for our kits, anything from just custom spacers, bigger shoulders, lower misalignment spacers, all just custom pieces, welded taps to make uh, double shear for your shock mounts, anything that for our special kits, this is it, just parts, parts, parts. We really enjoyed the platform on the Chevy 4x4, so it was like, all right, let's see what we can do for the two-wheel drive guys, and this was our answer. No more spacers, no more uh, just getting a horrible ride by you know stuffing a coil spacer in there, and now you have the ability to lift it three inches that's gonna still give you the stock ride. We're not changing you know, huge. Um, things that are going to just compromise and give you a rough ride. You're going to get that lifted vehicle, be able to run bigger tires on it, and still have a stock ride. That's the key to it. This is a look at the Chevy Express 4x4 Quigley lower arms. So these are the arms that we build for the Quigley 4x4s, and this is what it's going to look. This is where essentially it gets built from this point. It'll get taken out. They get overlay plates on the top and bottom. It'll get clean, polished, and then off the powder coat. Yeah, so Cooper is the one throwing down those awesome TIG welds on the spindles right now. Uh, we're, he's TIG welding up. This is a Bronco cage. So this is for the classic Bronco. We do a lot of these cages. So what we have it here is all in the fixture, and it'll get welded in the fixture. So right now he's going through it, tacking it all, squaring everything up, making it awesome. And uh, this no. one will be getting shipped out to its new home also. So right now Coop's using the new HTP glass TIG cup. You can totally see through it. It's a number 12 cup. Uh, a lot of gas coverage on the weld. You know, you can see going down killer welds on here. You know, definitely if you're looking to run a bigger cup on, you know, your TIG machine, this thing, we love it so far. So, so here we have our 2017 Chevy 4x4 Quigley conversion. This is gonna be van number two that we are building our suspension components on it. So as you can see, we totally have it lifted up. We have completely stripped out all the four wheel drive components out of it. Uh, so we're gonna go in, cut our mounts, clearance, everything that we have to do in order to make our kit work. You saw the arms earlier on the bench. Those are gonna be the arms that are gonna go on here. Well, it'll get our billet arms and then our coil over shocks. So this is what it, when it comes here, we have to essentially take everything apart. Now moving on to the back, same thing, we've eliminated the lift blocks in the rear and doing our full custom leaf pack. These are our leaf pack. You can see just how much bigger, you know, this leaf pack is here over your stock springs. We get the suspension completed on this and then we'll go to the next step. We'll pull the bumpers off of it. We'll start building our front and back bumpers, uh, doing our rock sliders. Uh, we're gonna do the Toyota Sienna seats in this also and then just kind of keep moving on as the customer would like. So as you can see, I um, got a little bit carried away with the old vintage gas pumps. That's uh, kind of been into collecting that now for a few years. I like the old gas pumps and as you can see, the whole shop's kind of decorated in the signs. Kind of breaks up the monotony of just having white walls, gives it a little character. You know, customers always definitely love coming in, seeing it. So of course, 
one of the fun things about collecting all this old gas from Petrolina stuff is that there was a gas company called Johnson Gas and Oil. And the craziness continues over here on this side, as you'll see too. So back here this is where we have our CNC machine. This is where we will make a lot of parts for all of our kits. So for our Chevy kits, uh, this is this is it. This is where we make your parts that will end up getting welded, put together on the other side. Some more craziness. This is where the gas pump craziness continues, and also where we try to get some work done. Um, I have my beautiful wife and daughter here working. And oh. Daddy's print test, you say hi. This is where I try to get stuff done. So all you guys on Expedition Portal, Sportsmobile Forum, um, when I'm typing away to you guys, it's usually at this desk over here. Well, you guys got to kind of see what we do here in the shop, more gas pump craziness going on here. But our work doesn't stop here in the shop. We also have a mobile division. We maintain a lot of fleet vehicles for the County of San Diego and the local municipalities. What we do is uh, fleet maintenance, uh, for the fire truck, sheriff's department, dump trucks, anything like that. So, you know, they break a truck out in the middle of nowhere, it's our job to go out, we'll go out there and fix that also. Now you got to see the inside of Welltech Designs, where we make your quality parts here in the United States of America. But you know what? Every good thing has to come to an end. So now it's time for me to get back to work and for you to get out of here. So, hey, we'll see you on the next one. I'll see you guys later.